Welcome back to our channel, guys. As far as the part bells, I'm Phil. I'm Sam. And we've got Procal, Procol, Harem today. I'm not sure if that's pronounced, pronounced correctly or not. Definitely an original name here. Yeah. Uh, the song is A Whiter Shade of Pale. And it's also just interesting, the name of the artist or the group, I, I guess I should say, because it doesn't sound like it's a British name, but apparently it's a British that. band. So uh, this was a recommendation from you guys in the comments that we should get to. We should do this uh, Denmark live version of A Whiter Shade of Pale. We've never heard of this group before, never heard of this song before, but a little bit of research that we did uh, suggested that it was a really, really popular song at one point. Yeah. Um, so popular that it was like rivaling Queen and Bohemian Rhapsody yeah. in terms of uh, like British awards that it was receiving. So. Yeah, I mean, obviously we know Queen Bohemian Rhapsody. Um, even though yeah. we, we weren't familiar with Queen, we knew that song yeah. or knew of it, right? Um, but we haven't heard this one before, so this is interesting. Um, it's a live version, and it looks like it's in a park or something yeah, somewhere. Yeah, there's definitely little chairs popped yeah, up, having like a good time. Wholesome brings me back to my childhood when we used to be chilling at the soccer games, yeah. and my parents would have the lawn chairs out <laughs> watching the games there. Um, <laughs> but uh, I should say football, because there's probably going to be a lot of British people watching fair, this one. Fair, fair. <laughs> like, it's, it's, it's European football, Phil. Uh, Got it. Don't worry. Don't worry. Okay, so we're... Ready to check out something a little bit yeah, different? Yeah, I'm excited. All right, let's do it.
Uh, sorry guys, I know some of you are going to be like, don't pause it, and you know, copyright issues, all that stuff. So, um, you know, great, great composition. I, I just love this. It's, uh, this is not built... what I was expecting at all. No, it's just a, you know, a mesh of a whole lot of things. You know, but first, before we talk about the meshing of it all, I just really love the building of it. You mm -hmm. know, that we started, you know, really easy. I, I wasn't sure where we were going to go with it. Yeah. And then, you know, yeah, just the orchestra aspect, and, and that was beautiful. But then we kind of let into his vocal. His vocal comes in; it's magnificent. Piano. Piano. <laughs> yeah, and uh, you know, and, and but still not you know too overpowering yet. And then it just each step along the way, it seems like each minute we were adding something. And then uh, you know, I started to get goosebumps there when they added in the choir aspect, yeah, which was beautiful. It's summer. just it's just enough too. It just sits enough in the mix that it sounds. Amazing. It also and, almost sounds like there's like some form of like organ kind of sound. Yeah, they were there playing the well. organ there, so they got the piano plus the yeah. organ, right? And um, I was like, oh, cool. Yeah, so and just the meshing, the combination of all that stuff. And then he's bringing in more passion as he goes along in the song with That's his vocal. vocal. Yeah. He's got a great voice. I don't know how old he, he is here. He doesn't look like a young gentleman, but <laughs> uh, he's, you know, so I'm assuming the song has been around for a while at this point, but still performing it epically. This yeah, is, he's doing an amazing job. Yeah, and his vocal sounds so good. Yeah, outside, mm -hmm. you know, like we said, in this, in the, you know, it's open air little, environment. Like, tent, castle tent. Yeah, that's what's so, I think, unique about it as well. And then the fact that this is live with all this going on. Mm -hmm. It's so amazing. But anyways, I'll finish all my thoughts in a second. Anything else that you wanted to add in terms of, you know, what we've been seeing and what, you, what you've been hearing? No, I mean, I thought it was really cool. Like, I think there's an insane amount of <clears throat> instruments in there, right? Like, it's basically like a whole symphony in the background, which is really cool. And I really liked when they introduced the drums, like that build, and then when they brought in the drums, where mm -hmm. they had like, um, I guess, like the bass line of the drums on, on top of the symphony. I really like that. Um, but I think his vocals, like, I was really impressed. Like, he said he's not a young, young guy. And it's very yeah. strong and powerful and, like, you know, has a lot of, like, emotion and passion in it, which I like. Yeah, I think that's, you know, the interesting component is partly, you know, part of his vocal. It sounds kind of rocky and, you mm -hmm. know, it's got that rock feel to it almost. But then you've got this symphony orchestra. Like classic kind of feel. Classic, like kind of, yeah, yeah, classical kind of um you know, composition and the music with the orchestra, obviously, and the symphony. And, um, but then you've got almost got like the song is almost like an R&B touch to it. <laughs> and, and, you know, it's, it's, so it's kind of putting together this really broad range of, yeah, of musical unique. pieces into one. Yeah. And then doing it also from the performance aspect from so many different musical pieces mm -hmm. as well. So anyways, really, really liking it. Yeah, and wow. uh, I'm excited to see what we're going to finish with in the last couple of minutes. I feel like we could... You know, maybe building to a crescendo of sorts. So I'll just run it back a little bit and then ready to continue? Yes. All right.
such an amazing concert to go to you yeah know, see that live yeah and all the instruments that we saw there that they brought in right and they you know i seen the playlist the track list from the guy on the organ there he was you know so that it, clearly it was a whole concert right and so i can only imagine what the rest of the concert sounded yeah. like because that was just epic i just loved every every bit of that just a great great experience yeah and i thought it was really cool and unique like how they brought all of that together to like have this kind of rocky feel and this rock i guess based song with this symphony orchestra kind of vibe as well like that kind of clash together it was like a really interesting experience to listen to that i don't think i've ever heard anything really like that no it was it was like you said it was very unique uh but super well done um yeah. You know, I just, uh, that was a musical experience. That's what I would yeah. summarize it, it as, it is. Yeah, as exactly. you know, it wasn't just a song. It was yeah. a musical experience, yeah, I would agree. which I, you know, I really resonate with. I love seeing, you know, experimental creative processes like that to make something epic. And that's what it was in my yeah. opinion. Yeah. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed our reaction. You can tell me how to pronounce it in the, in the <laughs> yes. comments there. Uh, it looks like Procol Harum, but I think it's Procal or pro something like that. Anyways, tell me in the comments because I want to learn. We always want to learn. Yes. That's what we learn from is those comments. Let us know all the things about them. Yeah. And um, if you liked it, hit the like button. You know, that's a common sense thing to do. And uh, and if you haven't subscribed, it's your first time on the channel. Welcome. Glad to have you with us for this video. But we hope to have you with us on our future videos. So you can hit that button, subscribe, and then come back tomorrow because we always got new content coming. That's it from us today. Thanks. We'll be back then. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next one.